Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sharia. Hopefully everyone is doing well. So as you can see in the display, today's topic is about the syllabus of, you know, AMC, Australian Medical Council exam, the part one exam. This is the syllabus. So to some extent, it is also similar for MC part two, but it's more like role play station and all these things actually. I mean, these are the main topics. It means what? It means actually, you know, some of your basic topics like anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, you know, then pathology, microbiology, community, main, some of the medicine. So those are not really included in your syllabus. Now, some particular can be included, like some neuroanatomy can be there, some anatomical questions can be there, like dermatome and relevant things. But, you know, not the typical anatomy, not like the muscles, not like the exact nerves, always few nerves can come though, you know, it's included in some of the surgical part that is orthopedics. Okay, so it's more relevant, more clinical things that is. So questions are single based, first of all, single based question, no negative marking. And <clears throat> there will be 150 question and you have to finish this exam in, in 3.5 hours. All right, so this is like, like what you have to do for the main exam. And you have to cover, as you can see in the syllabus, in, in broad headline, medicine, Pediatric, surgery, gyne, op, psychiatry, ethics, screening, and biostat. So these are the, you know, certainly are important topics too. Um, particularly, you know, if you think as a broad, like, you know, if you make some, uh, like, table of contents or somewhere like, you know, a syllabus when you make, like, you know, medicine for one month, like, you know, surgery for. Uh, one month pediatric for one month or maybe 15 days psychiatry for like a month ethics for 15 days you know and screening for like you know so you know if you make a syllabus like a four or five months you know this is how it should be all right so this is in general so i'll show you the syllabus of our course actually you know how we teach actually so that you get an idea about the syllabus actually so now i'm going to display so this is that particular actually one of the medicine syllabus so see medicine comprises respiratory git cardio cardio has a lot in intense classes at the same time then renal rheumatology endocrinology neurology neurology again has more intense classes so uh, this is in general the medicine so you need to finish theory you need to finish recalls questions question banks so all this association and orientations are important for you next if you see like pediatric syllabus so in pediatric syllabus it is just written as theory and recall but a lot of things are included in that one normally to be honest pediatrics is not well given in john murtak book you know normally we follow john murtak for amc but so pediatrics a lot of things from the side you can study like not lot of things a lot of things are not there in john murtak so which we you know cover from our notes actually to be honest so uh, you have to be watchful you know while studying the pediatrics many time you know students come to us you know and when they say like they have been failed so uh, most cases of course not our students and when they ask them like you know can i see your you know result sheet so then they when they show their result sheet that we figured out that you know pediatrics is slow and pediatrics is not a difficult subject why it is slow because they were only targeting maybe john murtag and hmc handbook so that will not be enough so relevant study you need to do research what type of question that comes from pediatrics so that a small subject may not be a problematic for you actually so at least there will be 15 percent questions from the pediatrics so you cannot ignore that Okay, so this is important. Next thing, it would be uh, surgical syllabus, a little bit more broad like medicine. It, it it concludes the general surgery part. Again, the general surgery is not discussed in John Murtag, unfortunately. So general surgery, you know, usually we use our notes actually. And systematic surgery is good news. It is given in John Murtag. So probably, you know, you can go through that systematic surgery well. So uh, orthopedics, uh, again, I, ENT, you know, uh, we can't ignore them, especially orthopedics is very important. A lot of questions are increasing. We can see certainly a lot of uh, eye questions also have been given, including fundoscopy. Uh, 
all right so this is how you need to prepare for surgery general surgery is a whole vast thing very difficult to prepare for general surgery you know if i suggest you okay read bailey and love book it's a huge book you know so it's very difficult so we compiled things you know in classes regarding general surgery john murtag is not going to cover or any books is not going to cover in that way if covered it's very big book actually so you need to uh, coincide it which is more important next thing is a gynecology so in terms of gynecology uh, again john murtag has the gyne part but the ops part is missing some chapters are missing i don't know why so you see high risk pregnancy chapter which was present in sixth edition now it's not present here and also two three chapters like that which is present in sixth or fifth edition now not present here which is quite weird i don't know why chapters are missing in new editions actually all right but still uh, gyne ops i would say it's not enough in john murtag gyne is to some extent i would say 75 percent is okay with john murtag but ops is actually you know uh, to be honest actually even uh, i would say 80 percent is not there in john murtag so again you know you have to you need a separate preparation linian jones is a book for gynecology linian jones actually you know some people follow dotta but it doesn't you know match with the australian guidelines so for australian guideline you need to you know check the australian relevant guideline books okay so that's more important and more in our course you know we follow our notes actually for the gyne ops okay so that covers everything actually in that case all right we also teach from the john murtak which is present we also teach from the notes actually that's how we make a blended learning actually here now psychiatry is very very important again Another issue, psychiatry is totally not present in John Murtagh, except for some phobia and two, three things are given. So again, for psychiatry, we follow our notes mainly. We have developed this thing over the years, but I can suggest you a good book name that is Kaplan Psychiatry. At least Kaplan Psychiatry will cover your 70, 75%, okay? From the theory syllabus, I'm not talking about the recall things. Whatever I'm telling is in from John Murtagh MC handbook or relevant book that covers the theory thing. Recall, they don't cover from here. Recall, you have to come to some institution or some packages you have to get actually for the recall or any relevant banks. Yeah, so question bank and recalls are same thing or not it is they are not the same thing uh, question banks are for your self preparation like you know how the exact a proper question should be how the you know other things could be but the recalls are directly taken from the you know candidates so more relevant topics actually so which question bank does not provide so recalls are very very important especially for mc exam one more important thing difference with plab and usmle exam in those especially plab exam every particular day exam has been taken and in uh, plab exam you know all the centers have the similar question whereas in mc a different people a person who is sit near to you it is a computer based exam so a computer screen is there and they will log in for you actually and then your exam will start so the, for this one you know you know all you need to do is to um, different people have a different question. So that is the reason recall or past papers are extremely important. Of course, alongside with theory. Theory is also made from, you know, lot, taking a lot of essence from the recall or the, some of the past paper, and then it is developed well, actually, okay? That is the thing. Now, next coming is after that, the ethics. Ethics is very important. I usually tell one thing directly in the class, in everyone's face. See, if you're coming from India, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, any of this Asian, reason or even some many bigger reason actually you don't know any ethics first of all forget about whatever you learned in forensic medicine so this is just one two thing you need to learn 100 or 200 cases actually from the ethics which does not cover from in the forensic actually so this is very new subject for many doctors this is very new subject actually so ethics you need to um, get really through the ethics actually you know otherwise it will get through your skin actually it's it's this is one part everyone struggle in the main exam even uh, those prepare well still they struggle because questions stems are very long actually and they struggle to finish in time you need, you need to finish the whole exam in time right so it is also important you cannot afford to sit for one question for four minutes you cannot do that all right so this is the thing for one question take it like as like a one minute or maybe one minute 10 second maximum actually but ethic question it will take you know one and a half minute in any way now when it takes like more time you know you will start feeling pressure but to be honest many ethic question it takes two minutes to finish 
All right. Last but not the least, some of the very exclusive things that you need to finish. We usually provide in our course regarding these things. So uh, these are some very important things actually, which you need to cover just before the exam from all these individual things like fundoscopy, contraceptive, ECG, you know, ECG is so important, screening, growth chart, cardiac risk assessment. There's a book, Anthropometry. So exactly what to study will tell you. CTG, then radiology. Radiology, of course, you know, you'll get five questions at least from, you know, radiology, you know, keep it in mind. Then, you know, fundoscopy, then, you know, again, the same, okay, sorry about, you know, again, a little copying the same thing, screening, driving, and, you know, of course, you need to practice mocks at the same time. We take a lot of, mocks throughout yeah so that's the thing so we take a lot of mocks throughout so that you know every weekly there's mocks taken and lastly big mocks are taken so that your preparation remain fully furnished so usually it takes for us like you know four and a half month to five month to finish finish the syllabus then candidates prepare one two month and then they appear in the exam um, with the grace of God, you know, we are having more than 90% success. It is 93% till date. I'm recording it. Yeah, previously it was like 94, 95%, but every year AMC is getting difficult actually and very large volumes. It's 70% whole world AMC student go through us actually, you know, especially those take courses actually. So that is the thing. So best of luck, you know, I hope so this section would be helpful for those who are looking forward to, you know, how is AMC, uh, especially junior doctors or uh, medical students, you know, get idea about the syllabus. So you, summary here, these clean, these are the clinical subjects. So these are included. Some clinical subject you never learned, like medical ethics, screening, biostat. These things probably you never learned in your med school. So this is so totally novel or new for you. And these are the other are clinical subject. Of course, more advanced compared to what you learned in MBBS. And of course, um, the typical things, physiology, biochemistry, um, you know, pathology, you know, uh, microbiology, little pharma is required. I'll tell you exactly in, in class is like what part of the pharmacology what part of the drug interaction it is important for the exam all right for now uh, these are the information we have support our uh, youtube channel by put a thumbs up actually or share that video with any of your medical college facebook group guys this is a request like you know uh, you can just copy the link and you know share it in your facebook um, medical college group links they'll get an idea the juniors let the juniors you know give an idea like you know how the syllabus looks like how amc looks like actually because the usmle so we'll also make a video on usmle syllabus actually so we'll add that link in the description when we'll make it uh, for now, this, this is all. Uh, this is Dr. Sharier, your MC and, you know, PLAB mentor. We're also starting your simile shortly. So thank you. Have a lovely day.